All right, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is an amazing program, but it's missing one of the most key functions I think this game could absolutely use, and that is using the mouse to control the yoke. I mean, even just looking at the yoke right now as you use the buttons to control it, it looks terrible. When using the rudders to go down the runway, it's very difficult to control. So look, if you wanna keep having takeoffs that look this bad, go ahead and turn off the video. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you how to use your mouse to control the yoke. It's gonna be easy. First things first, you're gonna have to download these two programs. VJoy, which is gonna be the driver that's controlling the virtual joystick, and also virtual controller, which is what you're gonna to use to actually program VJoy. Just go to these two sites, I'll have the link down in the description. Go ahead and install them. I'm not gonna walk you through it, it's self-explanatory. This is what the program looks like when you have it open. I'm going to include three profiles for you guys. We'll go over those in a moment, but go ahead and open up the active one. First thing you're gonna to have to do, even with these profiles, is go over to the IO settings, and you need to go over to virtual tab and enable VJoy. Then you need to make sure your mouse and keyboard are also enabled. If you don't see it listed here, just go to setup and add it. Make sure the enabled box is checked. Here's an example of my active flight profile. This profile basically tells VJoy that when I move the mouse to the right or the left or up or down, then it's going to actually push that virtual joystick forward, backwards, right, or left. Then I've added additional buttons in these hotkeys to be able to switch between the different profiles. I'm not gonna go too deep into the settings because it's pretty self-explanatory. I've already laid these out for you, so just copy my settings if you need to pause the video. There's rudder mode, which controls you on the ground and moves your rudders left and right with the mouse. Yoke mode, which controls the yoke in pretty much just how you would expect it. And then disabled so you can still look around and do stuff. It's really, really simple. Go ahead and load up the active profile, hit run, and then launch Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're gonna need to go to options, then controls. You should see the VJoy device now showing up. You'll see that mine's already active. And as I move the mouse with the active profile, you can actually see the yoke is actually going to be controlled. And if I hit period, it actually resets it back to center so that no matter where I start on the screen, it's still going to be comfortable for me. If I hit the button to switch from yoke mode to rudder mode, then you'll see that it actually switches over to just control the rudder. I can switch it back to yoke mode and then press it again to disable. Now that we're in the cockpit, you can see I can actually move the mouse around as if nothing's going on. But the moment I hit that button to enable the yoke mode, it's actually going to control the yoke, just how you would expect. I can recenter it, then I can switch right over to rudder mode and go left and right. Precise ground control to Major Tom. Press it again to disable. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out and see what happens. You may notice right away that using the rudder mode, it's already much smoother as I go down the taxiway. I'm not having to correct very much at all. In fact, I can disable it and then just look around. Now, it's important to know that when you are in rudder mode and you switch rudder mode off, it always goes back to yoke mode. The reason for that is because it makes it super easy on takeoff, but you need to keep that in mind because you can't just switch off the whole profile from rudder mode. You're gonna have to switch to yoke first. Let's go ahead and take off and see how smoothly it goes. You'll see that as soon as I get up to speed, all I have to do is hit the button one time to switch to yoke mode, pull back on the mouse, and away she goes. Perfectly smooth. Then I can just disable it, and again, just look around the cabin, switch controls, whatever you need to do. Take a look at that view. Even if you have to come in for an emergency landing, it's super easy to go ahead and work on the fly by switching between the different profiles 
Look how smoothly this landing happens. Nice. Then just hit the button one time, switch back to rudder mode, you're good to go. Obviously my steering sucks, but the same concept still stands. All right, guys, that's about it. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I've already included the files for you. It's very simple. Special shout out to Tic Tac on YouTube. He actually made this video. I just made it with a different profile setup and wanted to make it a little bit simpler for you guys by including the files. But uh, I'll include a link to his video in the description below. See ya.